Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to record a tutorial for installing Home Assistant supervised on a domestic orange pie. Recently, I suddenly found a Chinese orange pie. The main reason is that the price is relatively cheap. The total cost of the set is more than 240 renminbi. Including the orange pie. And a third-party box. And a 64 gigabytes SD card. The board I bought is the 03 model. Overall, it feels very small in my hand. Let's take a look at its interface. There is a network cable port. Then a USB 2.0 port. A micro HDMI port and a type C port. Now let's put the fan and the protective case on it. Take a look at its appearance. After the whole thing is finished, I think the face value is still very good. It's a small thing that you'd like to have on your plate. Let's look at the official website. About Home Assistant. There are four versions in total. The most complete version. OS and supervised versions. The official website also says. If you want to install the Home Assistant supervised version. You need to install it under Debian 12. So we installed Debian 12 this time. Practical operation. First of all, let's open the official website of Orange Pi. Then go to the server to download. Find our board. The model is 03. Choose this one. Then under the official image, select the Debian image. One thing to note here is that. I've tested it. We try to install the 6.1 kernel image. And here. Choose the image with the size of the memory we bought. The one above is a Debian 11 version. Then we choose the following version. Then download the firmware. After downloading the firmware, we need to find a disk writing tool. I'm using a Mac computer. So I'm going to use the disk writer tool. Then you need to insert your TF card into your computer. Here's the file to burn. We'll select the target disk for the downloaded image. Here we choose our TF card. Make sure you don't make a mistake. Then click burn. Wait for a while. Our firmware will be written to our TF card. Then we pull out the TF card. Insert it into our orange pie. Then we plug in the orange pie. Here we use a cable. And connect it to our router. Because we need to check our IP later. Then we go to the router's background. Check the IP of the orange pie. After getting this IP, we can go into the background. To install Home Assistant. I strongly recommend that you. Configure the whole internet environment first. Because it will involve some installation. If you don't have this environment. It's actually quite troublesome. Here we first use this command to enter the background of our orange pie. Then enter yes. For the password. The default password is orange pie. Enter here. Then we will enter the background of our Orange Pi 03. I suggest you to update your packages first. Because we will need to use these dependencies later. If the version is low, there may be some errors. After we enter this command and wait for it to finish updating all the packages, after updating, we can install the Home Assistant. Then we can open the GitHub site for supervised. We can see what steps are required to install the supervised version. What are the steps required to install the supervised version? It's actually quite clear. We can see that the first step is to install the following dependencies. We'll copy these commands and then just enter and it will start installing. The dependencies we need. There's a page that comes up. And it's reminding us to wait. After installing the dependencies. 
we need to reboot. There's no error. Then we reboot. Type reboot. And wait for a while for our host. After reboot we enter our backend. The next step is the second step. Install our Docker CE. We copy this command. And enter to install Docker. This step took me a while, then we wait for it to finish. Once it's done, we'll move on to the third step. Install OS Agent. Then we click here. Find the latest version of the package. We see that the latest version is 1.6.0. We need to select the second one. Then copy the address of one of its links. For the command, we'll use get. Then copy the download address after. Enter and it will download our OS agent. Then we'll use this command. To install it. Before we move on to the fourth step. Before installing the supervised package. We need to set up our app armor first. It's called app armor. The main purpose is that according to our configuration file. The main purpose of app armor is to manage the permissions of each application according to our configuration file. Now we need to add one of the startup parameters of our app armor to our orange pie's startup parameters. So we open this file first and add this line of code. In addition, we also need to set up a C group. The main thing is that our home assistant is required to use this v1 version. If we don't add this line of code, it may report some errors when installing. Some errors may occur during the installation. After adding the code, we will reboot our host computer. After rebooting, we will go to the last step of the process. Install Home Assistant Supervised. First of all, let's enter the code in the first line. Before we start the second step of the installation, we first need to change the name of our host. Because when it installs later, it needs to recognize our name. If the name is not correct, it won't be able to install. It will say unsupported. We need to go to the file under the directory. In the first line change the name to this line of code. Finally, we enter this line of code. And it will install our serviced version. If there are no errors, we'll be taken to a page that looks like this. We select this type. At this point the entire home assistant is installed. It's actually pulling a lot of mirrors in the background. We can wait for a while. This side also shows the address of our background. After entering the background, you follow the step step by step to set up. You can start using home assistant. About how to use it. I'm not going to expand on that in this video. So that's all there is to the video. If you think it's good, you can give it a one-touch trifecta. Click a little attention. I will also update more interesting tutorials in the future. See you next time. Bye-bye.